Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video. I'm Tim from Cotting School. We hope you're all safe at home. We created this new video series to showcase tips from home to help you with remote learning during this time. Check out some of these video tips from our home to yours. Today we're joined by Melissa Mulvey, Cotting Consulting Senior Therapist, to talk about how to use Zoom video tools. Hi, we're going to start looking at some Zoom tools. Students are using Zoom, teachers are using Zoom, and we're all learning it together. Let's take a closer look at some of the menu options. In Zoom, you might have a screen that looks like this. Across the top, you might see some people who are in your Zoom meeting, and you might see a menu across the bottom. Sometimes there's a chat window on the right hand side. Sometimes that chat window is hidden. Let's take a look. On the bottom, there's a microphone tool, a video tool, the window to bring up the names of the participants or people in the group. This button brings up chat, which is right here. If you don't see this chat window and you want to type a message to someone, use chat to open that window. And then there's reactions over here. More on that in a minute. Over here with the microphone, sometimes your microphone looks a little different. It might have a red line over it like this. A red line over the microphone like this means we can't hear you. Your microphone is on mute. If you want us to be able to hear you, click your microphone again and you'll see the red line disappear. When you first join a Zoom meeting, you need to click that to turn your microphone on. The next button you see is the video button. And right here, your video is on. But if you look and find a red line across your video camera, it means your video is off and we won't be able to see your face. If you want us to be able to see you on video, just click on that button so that there's no red line and your video camera should be working. Now, let's go way over here to this reactions button we talked about. This is a neat way to answer a question or give some feedback during a Zoom meeting. If someone asks a question, you can use this button to bring up some emoji choices. This one right here is clapping hands, yay, if you agree. And this one right here is a thumbs up to agree. There's only two emojis, but you can use them if you want. We'll hide them right there under the reactions button. When you're all done with your Zoom meeting and you're ready to end the call, you can use the button that says leave meeting. On some devices, it's down here at the bottom in red letters. On some devices, you'll find it up here at the top. I hope you enjoyed our close look at Zoom tools. See you in class.